Look, I'm black guy. Hello, how may I help you? Hey, Habibi, look, my hang low ain't working like it's supposed to. You got any of them sex pills? May I randomly suggest one of these generic products? Nah. You should take the A game, little bro. Bling, bling for the ding, ding. Nah. You shouldn't be taking that poison, little bro. Here, try one of mine. Yes, right. A game will make a girl give you her credit card number. It is very true. Plus, it's an all natural solution for men. Not like these gas station pills gonna make your manhood shrivel up and fall off. Oh my golly, he's right. A game is an all natural solution for men. And you take it and it give you energy and libido and your vitality will be out the roof. I feel it kicking in already. I'm gonna go home and show my girl. Okay, but don't forget to drink 16 to 32 ounces of water. Hey, baby. Ooh, look who brought their A game. And the A is for apocalypse. Cause I'm about to blow your back up. <laughs> Ooh, I love it when you bring your <sighs> Gentlemen, veterans, civilians, I'm gonna need you guys to fall in. This will not be a five minute fire watch report. This is just an honest video in the uh, celebration of the weekend, somewhat. Now, I'm going to preface this with a little story. Now, today, I was making my runs, taking care of things in my registration, taking, uh, doing business stuff. And early this afternoon, on my way to the house, something told me to look to my left. And automatically I saw a chick kind of walking kind of weird down the street. Little little yellow bone, you know, chick, wild little hair. And what I saw kind of threw me. Now, she took her, I seen her walking down the street and immediately she didn't care in the public eye, nothing. She had her hand overhand and she was scratching her crotch in her pants trying to walk and scratch her box in front of everybody and keep it moving like nothing happened. Now, I had a legion of questions immediately after that because that, that's something a man should not see. But thankfully, I did. But that brings me to the topic of this video today. Whatever I entitle it, that's what it is because there's so much stuff running in my head. But... Here's a few questions I want to ask you guys before you head off to the ATM in the weekend. And yes, I'm talking about you too, Jonathan, whoever to it applies. When is the last time have you been tested for STDs? Now, don't answer that. Because if you locked off on the side, up in the air, or, you know, it hit the pit of your stomach hearing that, that gave you the answer you need to hear. See, there's a lot of individuals who deem themselves high value we're talking about a health issue see some of you little uh, pornographic pyromaniacs don't take into account about your sexual health mainly see there are some things that you know can happen when you ride dirty and see when you ride dirty you can pick up some passengers that you can never get out your vehicle on a biological scale there's some things that can happen to you to where you can lead to your blindness or affect you in ways that you wish never happened because of not only you, you being complicit or your shame to admit to your or take on, uh, leader ownership of your sexual misconduct, but your silence. See, the thing is, it's one thing to take care of your head. We're talking about spirituality. It's all encompassing. Done right, sex is supposed to be more of a spiritual act. But we're not prepared for that. We're still in, you know, trying to pull you out of that Jonathan stage. What I'm talking about here is a lot of you individuals running around riding dirty. Been doing it for a good minute. Because I notice in this space, you don't hear too many people talking about the use of condoms. It's very you, uh, very rare. Not to say it doesn't happen, but it's very rare. And at that, the information that's given to you, most people don't take heed to it. Because you give them the frequency that people talk about punani politics. 
You don't talk about things about contraceptives. You don't they'll talk about things about as far as vasectomies. You don't talk about things as far as STDs and health and the consequences of running around riding dirty. All you're hearing about is whatever Pookie and Ray Ray's doing with their penis, which is a whole nother conversation. And your limited or non-access to that ass that you piss and moan about. Or other nonsensical conversations that never get addressed. What brings me to you guys talking about this, it goes into both your spirituality and your health. And if not done right, if it's not taken care of, it can affect everything in your life. Because if you screw things up like that, chasing that box and catching that house in Virginia, you're going to spend whatever wealth you acquire to try to ex poorly exist. You can't say you're living. Because how are you going to explain that to your family? Let's talk about that aspect. Let's talk about how you're going to explain to your wife. Why your kids are suffering from certain ailments because of your sexual improprieties. How are you going to explain to your girlfriend or significant other that you have a whole heap of off-white guacamole juice? That sexual sriracha pouring out your uh, member. How is it going to explain that those love bumps you have in there? Having your face look like an oatmeal cookie. See, we don't talk about that because most individuals don't give a shit about that. They're too busy out there playing the game, but then they get upset when they get played by the game. This is one of many things that we as men need to take ownership of. Sexual discipline and dick dignity. Two things that many guys in this space and, above and beyond tend to lack openly. Now, that chicken head that was running around here, scratching her box in public, that says a lot about this so-called sexual freedom or empowerment that you see out here. There are too many out here who are jumping in and out of everything. And then there are those things that we talk about, spiritually transmitted diseases. But we'll get to that much later. See, the thing is, when it comes to your sexual frequency, that's... The many, well, it's more times you have to get tested, like a window. If you're talking about the whole facts, you need to get that paperwork from that chick. It shows a level of responsibility. It shows a level of value in and of yourself. And that individual too, because you're still implementing the four P's and the four T's properly. As men of principle and purpose. See, admitting to myself, I'm not out there thotting as I should or could be. See, the thing is, like, I could be out there doing some crazy stuff, but see, I'm focused on taking care of some things, putting out some financial fires that I need to be addressed. See, I don't feel right if I'm, if my money's all over the place and it's, it's screwed up. I'm not really in the mood to get out there and do some late night gymnastics. It's just me personally. This is how I'm built. Could I do it? Sure, but not to the capacity that I really could be, but I know my other areas of attention are taken care of. See, again, if we're talking about being men, talking about heal before you build, this is one of the many elements we need to address. Now, some of us have experienced some sexual traumas or, or what have you, which, we, which render her silence. Because we're in a society that doesn't give a shit about how we feel, how we think, and what we need. And I get that. But this is a space that we're supposed to talk about these things in a masculine and adult uh, a way. To where we can address them and protect not just each other and ourselves, but those behind us as, as juniors. Some of the elders are getting burnt in these hospice homes. So while fucking uh, Eunice is over there burning Ebenezer because they're exchanging heart medication for sex or whatnot. This is not limited to an age bracket. It can go from older to youngest. That's why we have to be mindful of where we place ourselves sexually. I'm going to admit it. As men, you have to understand the universe is in your nuts. 
So you can't go around here being cockeyed Thanos trying to snap everything that's in the block and ultimately destroying yourself. There's responsibility that's required out here. And this being this channel being one of many that are solution oriented, one of the many things you need to take into account is vetting that individual out sexually. Seeing what they're on, seeing what they're about, asking them when have they been tested. It, it will say a whole lot if both of you get together because you know you're going to sit there and do what you do. Make it a date or make it an event to where you know we're going to go out here and get tested. You exchange paperwork. That way you can have a level of security, uh, understanding and trust into knowing what you get and do. And you can smash responsibly. See, you're executing the, four, executing the four P's and T's as intended. Rather than these dudes out here, and I ain't gonna just say riding dirty, you guys are just riding on anything. And I mean that literally. Because in my profession, I've dropped a few of you goofies off. At truck stops, I've seen guys get all dressed up, damn near choke me out wearing some cheap uh, cologne just to go to the strip club. I'm not saying every exotic dancer or butt naked floor technician is all screwed up. Who she is mentally and spiritually, that's something else. It's her situation, that's whatever. However, I've been in strip clubs years ago. I haven't been in a strip club in 12 years, no cap. But I've seen what a lot of you so-called high value niggas do out in the booty bar. I have seen some of you guys eat ass at a strip club. I have seen some of you guys do some more very debaucherous shit in real time. There was even a stripper named Hot Fudge. And I'll never forget that chick because she literally lived up to her name. Doing a handstand and then doing the splits on my shirt. And she left a stain and a smell on my shirt. I couldn't wash it out so I had to burn my shirt outside of the city limits. Gary, Indiana. See, taking ownership of both heads is a matter of life and death, especially today. Especially when you got ratchets who are looking to destroy certain men. But the thing is, in taking ownership, we got to be mindful of putting ourselves in a line of fire out here. That is a gateway to either success or failure. And see, the whole thing about pumping dope culture... This is what most people won't talk, tell you about. Hey, man, go out there, get yours, and, you know, you know, pump and dump her. But, yeah, you might be able to get that box. But are you prepared for the package you're going to walk to, or the consolation prizes you're ready to walk away with, knowingly and unknowingly? How are you going to explain that little boil at the head of your meat leaking? It gets real graphic. Because in the Marine Corps, before we hit Thailand... They didn't let us eat anything an hour before or after the video they had to show us dealing with venereal diseases. And that shit looked like a sci-fi movie. If you ever seen the movie Last of Us, you'll get an idea what I'm talking about with certain things. When I learned about a blue waffle, I damn near stopped eating waffles. And I could tell you a story on here to, as the reason why I don't drink dark drinks. That's what really fucked my head up. So, in closing, fellas, before you do one of these old uh, weekend liberty excursions, I want you to think about this when you're going to the ATM. And again, I said, while old girls rubbing your back, I want this to marinate in the back of your head. Ask her, what's the last time you've been tested? Or, you know what? How about me and you go to the clinic and get checked out? Now, if her response is on the defensive side, that should tell you more than enough you need to know. So, again, fellas, smash responsibly. I would suggest you guys suiting up, putting on a contraceptive. Or if you're in a relationship, we're talking about a solid one as best as possible. Still get tested. Because 
you might be riding on a straight and narrow, but your significant other might be riding on something else. Prevention is a matter of needed defense. You need to provide those four P's to yourself too. That being said, much love to the A-game family. All you four progressive people doing the damn thing, proud of you uh, guys. Keep doing it. Be safe out here this weekend. And again, Jonathan, stop eating ass out of random people. Some of them Decepticons I know. I know you're doing extra uh, curricular stuff. So before you hook up with uh, uh, Turnpike Mike, and then act like you ain't getting down like that. I suggest you be safe out there. I don't care what you do. Just keep that shit over there. Nasty motherfucker. And with that, <laughs> with that being said, hey, be safe out there. Hey, take care of you and yours. And uh, never allow your comfort zone to become your coffin. And it always takes a pussy to expose a control one. So we're going to find out Monday uh, morning who that pussy's going to be. Peace. Hey y'all, Donnie Keith here, aka Auntie Peaches from the Auntie's Radio Show, also on The Voice of Reason. I'm here to say that ever since my man started taking A-game, he's been on top of his A-game. When I say A-game, I mean his A-game. He's more focused. He's definitely working out more. His attitude is better. And he's not complaining of all over body aches due to poor blood circulation. Because A-game provides great blood circulation. If you know what I mean, ladies. That blood circulation. Sometimes I have to hide the A-game in the bushes when I'm out walking the dog. Just because I want some sleep. (laughs) If you know what I mean, ladies. Stay on top of your A-game. Game, fellas, get your A game.